In this machine learning class, we will see handling continuous numeric features in NIDES classifier uh, from third unit Bayesian concept learning. The NIDES classifier uh, used a frequency table of the training data for its calculation. That means to do classification, the NIDES classifier will use the frequency table. Okay. So, this is the example frequency table uh, which we have seen in the last class. Right? That is the football world cup match and this is the frequency table for the weather condition. So, in the weather condition, we have only three different uh, data that is sunny, overcast and rainy. That means the values are categorical in nature. All the attribute values are categorical in nature. Okay, here the combination of class and future value can be created. So, this is the combination of class and future values. But it is not possible in the case of continuous numerical data. Okay, here we have only three data and for this attribute also we have only three data. But if the data is continuous, if the data is continuous numerical data, then we cannot classify those data, right? So, creating frequency table is uh, very, very difficult in this case. So, to categorize this continuous numerical data, this continuous data will be divided on the basis of some data range and this is called as binning, okay? That is the individual categories are termed as bins. For example, let us take our uh, uh, marks, internal marks, internal marks of a class, okay? Uh, here, the marks below 50, that is up to 49, the range is fail and 50 to 75, this is average and 76 to 90, this is above average and 91 to 100, this is excellent, okay? Likewise, we need to divide those continuous data into number of bins. So, this fail, average, above average and excellent are called as bins, okay? And this process is called as binning. Let us see another example. In a bank, the representative will market the credit card to all the customers, right? And they have to classify the person who are visiting the bank as interested to take the new card or not interested about the credit card, okay? So, we have to classify the candidates those who are really interested or those who are not interested. So, here we need to do the classification, okay? So, after classification, then only the representative will visit the corresponding customer to sell the credit card, right? So, in this case, the customers visit the bank continuously during the banking hours, during the banking hours and have different values of the attributes we want to evaluate before classifying them into uh, the interested candidate or non-interested candidate, okay? So, based on the visiting uh, pattern of the customer, we need to identify whether the customer will purchase the uh, credit card or not. And now, we need to analyze the number of customers will visit the bank during the 8 hours of working hours. For example, this is the distribution graph and here the bank time starts at 10 to 11, okay, this is 1 and 11 to 12, this is 2 and 3, 4, 5, 6 and 4 to 5 is 7 and 5 to 6 is 8. So, total 8 hours, how many customers will visit during the particular time period? Okay, and this time period is called as bin or bucket, bin or bucket, okay. By using this bin or bucket analysis, we can categorize the customers according to the time of entering the bank, okay. So, what is bucket here? The time slot of uh, the banking working hour, that is the continuous 8 hours will be divided into 8 buckets. Okay, now, 
um, we can easily assess what time range is best suited for targeting the customer as per our example this particular time period that is 12 to 1 pm is best time to target the customers who have interested in new credit card here the bins are created to categorizing the customers by the time of entry to the bank and the distribution of bins based on the time of entry of customers in the bank okay so total working hours are 8 hence we have created 8 bins totally 8 bins are there and this is 7 and this is 8 uh, 4 to 5 no customer are entering and 5 to 6 no customer are entering to the bank okay so totally 8 bins are there and we can change the number of bins based on our uh, the changing our categorizing criteria based on our criteria or based on our requirement we can change the number of bins okay and those bins are used to for our bayesian analysis now the continuous data is converted into categorical data uh, so far we have seen uh, the handling continuous numerical features in nibes classifier that is we have seen how to convert the continuous numerical data into uh, the categorical data into the categorical data once the continuous data is converted into categorical data then we can easily apply the naibase classifier to classify the data okay so these are the things will come under third unit bayesian concept learning in the next class we will see uh, bayesian belief network that is another important topic from third unit thank you